fluids into an externally bow-mounted turret on the FPSO. The produced fluids now pass into a two-stage separation process where the water and gas are removed from the oil for further processing. The processed oil is stored in cargo tanks until it is tandem offloaded every six to seven days to a trading tanker. The FPSO has storage capacity for around 1.8 million barrels of oil. The produced water that was removed from the oil is cleaned, then mixed with seawater, which has passed through a sulphate reduction plant. The produced gas removed from the oil is cleaned and compressed. The water and gas then travel through the turret before going subsea to be re-injected into the reservoir to maintain pressure support, the opposite journey to the produced fluids. Back on the surface, while the FPSO's turret is fixed to the seabed, the vessel herself is free to weather vane around it, so she can face into winds and weather and give the smoothest ride for those on board. The power generation on board is provided by four gas turbine generators with enough capacity to generate 100 megawatts. The accommodation has capacity to house 120 operations personnel, plus a further 20 in pull-down bunks. Holding the turret in place are 12 polyester and chain mooring lines. Fixing them in place on the seabed are suction piles. 